so let's start our demo then so let me just pull up this image so to walk you through the entire process so we have two triggers so first trigger is um, so basically this what this exact process is when a lab uh, you know technician i uh, know they they scan the microscopic images of your blood and then they upload to a block storage when that is done uh, and uh, you know a trigger is made and to a resume function with the blocks uh, uh, name so this is a path and then uh, the prediction is done on the second phase the machine learning model predicts the path and saves it to the cosmos db and then if there is a mail sent to the uh, hematologist stating that there is an update and you know, waiting for your review so let me just show you the logic app which does this in their process so let me just go to the designer part so this is the uh, logic app which does all these so this is the trigger that we have we have the clear code container and you know what to do to turn and other parameters so this is triggered and then it passes the file path to the function that we have we have the image url the post it was and once this is done i told i it auto or it also updates the cosmos db with the prediction that what it does and there is there is an email trigger that is sent uh, across to this email id stating that this has been received and so on and we terminate so let me just show you the cosmos db so this is the person that we are going to update so uh, you just watch it and this is the file name that you are going to update and uh, no, it, this this is the important part so prediction type is not yet predicted so once we upload uh, something then it will say uh, that uh, am is predicted okay so so these are these are the things that we will cover further so once this is done we will we'll go to go back to those uh, things so we'll watch out for this field uh, you know once we upload an image so this is the container that i showed so it is in a container and uh, you just need to update uh, this is the third person that we have to update and once you update it uh, we have our logs running inside so running so we will have a trigger that that comes along with this one so what do for this one so let's do a quick upload and uh, so the upload is done let's go back to our logs and wait for uh, the new logs to come in so it's 7 So let's go to the logs of this logic app and see if there is uh, something running. So we see that when we uploaded the image, something was triggered and it's done on 15. So something is running. So let's see if we can get the logs over here. So it is updated. So let's go back to the trigger that has happened. So it is. So this was the uh, you know request successfully matched the route, and this is the trigger that has been done from our uh, logic app. So executing this function, and this is the function triggered, and entering into prediction mode. This is where you predict you know, what is the AML or what what type of uh, leukemia it is, and this is the entire process that uh, we are starting uh, you know, image. So one problem that we have is uh, we we uh, kind of store this image in a temp folder. a uh, temp file and then we once the process is done we remove it okay so the prediction is made successful and uh, we updated this item so in the process ended so this is the entire process that uh, has happened okay so let's let's uh, quickly go walk through uh, this step and then we'll go to this cosmos uh, no db trigger and and further further uh, you know steps uh, whatever has happened so let me just quickly update this one so this is the third record that uh, we had so if you can see it has been updated to aml and uh, this of uh, you know the prediction is made uh, you know with uh, that so let us just quickly go through this logic app and what what was updated and i'll just show you what what is happening so this was the image that we uploaded i think remember uh, go there you know, this is the three on lab uh, so it was april 21 and this was the image uploaded 
consider time on our practice here so let's quickly move to the public function so this is the image uh, you know that part that has been ported to our uh, function and we have 200 response and, and there is an email uh, that is sent to the doc stating that you now this uh, you know a new lab report submitted and uh, your review is needed so there is a typo so, yeah. Okay, so this is how uh, this thing works okay the second part is the cosmos db part we'll just pull up the image again so trigger 2 is the cosmos db whenever there is an update in the cosmos db uh, you know there is an review function which is called which validate the changes and it sends the email to the hematologist or to the patient so this one is when uh, so when these two fields are yes okay so the verification is done by the hematologist 1 and 2 then there will be mail sent to the, hemo, uh, the chief hematologist for the, end, uh, the final review so once all these three fields are yes then the patient will receive an email stating that uh, uh, you have been diagnosed with the, you know, what type of uh, AML or what type of it is and then uh, and then uh, you can you can take up the further process or further uh, treatment. So so once we updated the Cosmos DB, so our Cosmos DB trigger got triggered, and we see the patient ID. I know this is the same patient ID. If you can see uh, see in our Cosmos DB, this is the patient ID that we have, and this is what was triggered, and uh, successfully retrieved the item. So this uh, this means that uh, we have. Uh, retrieve the item from the cosmos db and uh, you know, evaluation is done and the mail is sent to the uh, 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 hematologist okay and this is successful mistake. so these are the logs you can train all these you no know, code entire code on negative info so you have all the walkthrough you have all the code whichever i i have uh, said on this video you can find all these things on the entire uh, blogs so to wrap this up, uh, I'll just quickly show you the static page that we have. So this is my static page that I have. So this fetches the data and uh, this states that there are three, uh, three fields and this is the swap. This is the latest one that uh, we have updated it. So let me just quickly uh, update it. Okay. So let's say if both the hematologists say yes. So let me just show you the mailer that is sent. So if you can see, uh, so this is the image, uh, the mail that was sent uh, to myself, and this is my another uh, mail ID. So you can see this is the mail ID. I use mail jet. You can use whatever you want. Uh, this is what it was sent. And uh, this is the second email. So ten fifteen was the second one. So this was the first one, and we have the same image. So and uh, the second one is uh, you know the patient is completed and the final decision is building so this this is what you will get uh, once you uh, once you uh, evaluate things okay so once you say yes to both okay once you say yes and uh, you update or you update the item okay so you can see uh, that this should be updated by now uh, since we are updating this one, I know at this second it is getting updated with the, you know, with the updated values from the Cosmos DB. So you, you will get the live updates, whatever uh, you have. So this will trigger again our uh, uh, function and uh, we will uh, retrieve the data and uh, and again send the email to the uh, chief uh, to get the new review. Okay, the swati is completed and the final is uh, you know, bending or you know, this atmosphere. So there is a new image show it was just recently sent. So this was the new updated email that is sent uh, when we updated yes to both. So the final thing is uh, if we search this hematologist to yes, so if, if the chief uh, hematologist say has confirmed this one. And then it passes on to uh, it passes on to the patient, and it uh, says that you have uh, diagnosed with something. Okay, 
so let me just uh, change this to false prediction to one so that you can see a work item uh, to be added in the devops devops work item so this is done when you know this type is not predicted by our machine learning model and we get to know which uh, image is not predicted accurately by our model okay let me just quickly update this item i have uh, the devops and you can see nothing is here so you just have this uh, 65109 so we will uh, have also 865103 so uh, this was updated uh, morning so let us uh, quickly go to our logs so this was updated over here so let us see what we have and we have again the cosmos db triggered and successfully uh, request is made and other things so new so let's go to the work item and do a refresh and we should see that uh, you know 103 has been added just now so once you once you uh, turn on this uh, to one so it means that there is a false prediction by our machine learning model and this has to be addressed by somebody so uh, this is what uh, the work item that has been created so once this is created you have to fix this so this image has some this uh, patient's image has some kind of uh, uh, problem with the machine learning model which is not predicted perfectly so you have to retrain your model some way so so this was the second flow that we have had a work item to our resume devops so as we discuss so what must be triggered and the dashboard that i shown that you get the recent updates whatever you have on your uh, so this was updated so see from its old is for uh, two years so this was a quick demo on uh, the entire uh, thing that i have built so hope you like it so I, i'll just make a blog as well if i have some time so this was pretty easy for me so it it, was, it took a lot uh, a lot of time so the entire code is written in python so python references are pretty hard to find so everything was in c sharp so i have to find the references for python and i have to see the cosmos db triggers and the file operation this was the difficult part and we have the model as well so if you want to have play with the model you can feel free to do that uh, i guess uh, that's it for the video so if you haven't checked out the devops uh, uh, page uh, feel free to do that as you develop the stories and thanks for watching so we'll catch you in the next one